Hello ladies and gentlemen and uh, welcome to this live dissection of a wasp. I today found a wasp in my bedroom. Um, don't know if you can see right there. It has been dead for some time. It is. Yes. It's um, definitely not alive. And I'll demonstrate this by prodding it. Yes, not alive. So today we're going to dissect it in the name of pure science. Because, well, underneath it, I think everyone's a scientist. So first of all, to start off today, we are going to dissect the wing. So before this, I'm going to use a screwdriver and a pair of scissors. Why a screwdriver? Because I have nothing else to dissect it with. All right, here's the screwdriver. Just prod it again, make sure it's dead. And here I'm going to take off the wing. Yes. Oh. And I took off a leg as well. Okay, you can see the leg there. It has uh, 17 nerve endings in it, I'm making up. Uh, oh, I nearly blew the wing away. Now, ah, see, now that is why the wing is the the flying part of it, because it's so light and flamboyant, much like a, uh, yeah, I don't know, a kind of a gay man in a cocktail bar, light and flamboyant. Lovely people. Um, I'm going to take off the other wing now. As you can see, it's um, positioned there, just above the upper dorsal ventricles systemonic shaft. No, oh, only took half the wing there. I'll give you a close up of this wing after I've done this. Oh, okay. Now, if I had a pair of tweezers, ah, I do. It's not quite tweezers. Yeah, it's more like um, just, um, things. So as you can see here, oh you probably can't, but that is the wing. It's made up of um, so many parts and uh, they do so many different things. I'm going to shine this red light. Uh, it's a Star Trek device. I stole it from Captain Picard of the Enterprise. Yeah, he wasn't very happy. Um, it was when they got shoved back in time on the times. Ah, that kind of rhymes. Oh, I'm a poet and I don't... Mm. Yes, um, here we have the feelers, so we'll just, you know, we'll remove them. He doesn't need them anymore, he can't feel. You can see here the legs quite clearly along the, the front of the beast, and down at the bottom here, oh, we have the stinger, the bit that most people don't like in a wasp. You see that there? Yeah, see the stinger just at the end there. Yeah, pretty harsh looking thing. Stab right through a human into their flesh and inject you with a, not lethal, but a painful dose of poison. So, to stop this little bastard, I mean wasp, so I'm not an animal hater, doing anything like that again, I'm going to cut off his stinger. Ah. He's actually been sitting there so long, his insides have dried up. You probably can't see this in the camera. Yeah, he has no insights. This could be, finding this wasp could be the reason that I've had so many wasps coming into my room because wasps are attracted to the smell of their fellow dead wasps. So what I'm going to do with this wasp now is throw it out the window. Yes. I hope you enjoyed this dissection today um, of a wasp. This was done by Stephen McMahon. And um, yes, have a nice day.